Hi guys, you're welcome to our, our channel. channel. Yeah, so today Halin TV is live in CIC, which is College of the Immaculate, Immaculate Conception. Conception yeah. yeah, a couple of days ago we made a request. If you want any video, if there's any video you want us to shoot for you, we are going to do that. And somebody requested for an, an update, update on the ongoing stadium. And guys, this is massive. Like I must say, and we can't wait to share all of this with you guys. A whole lot is happening here. Yeah. The interesting thing about this project is that it's been handled by the alumni of the college. Yeah. Beautiful. The old boys beautiful. and it's beautiful. You know, the site I'm seeing already is looking <laughs> interesting. In fact, I didn't even when I entered, I didn't even know they have this and the indoor sports hall as well. And seeing the indoor sport hall as well, they are very lovely. We were told at the gate that if we are old students and they say CEPES will have a reply but unfortunately we were not informed so CEPES guys please tell us what it means and tell us the response I don't have a fair full face from this because it's CEPES something something so <laughs> guys let let's us, go and check out the stadium let's, let's so guys this is the stadium yes just a general overview of the stadium quite a big one for the alumina yeah it's quite a big one i never expected to see such a big project and um, the indoor sports hall i learned is also very 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 big so stay tuned while we go check that out pretty soon so if you are new on our channel you are welcome to alin tv please do well to click the subscribe button turn on notification bell so you will be the first to know when we upload new video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you thank you very much we appreciate your sincere love for our channel and if you are the one that requested for the video i believe you are excited to see how far the project has gone yes me too i'm excited to see that alumni is doing such a massive project for the school and if you are from enugu state or you finish from here you are not done that requested you see this video please do help us share it uh, so your loved ones can also get to see it and for those who are resident in enugu can also get to see it yes generally um the the sitting arena has been done just to put the seat and um, the cover just one section of the cover has been done so the other three parts is yet to be fixed but the light has all been installed as you can see from a distance the light has been installed the pitch i believe they are just waiting for the grass to come so they can lay the grass on it and then just as you can see this is a little drainage system for water during rainy season you can see the pipe into the underground drainage uh, so that one also has been done this small portion you are seeing grass already been planted very soon you will see some guys watering the grasses and flowers that have already been planted around the area so the school environment your school is still looking beautiful if you are from uh, cic the school is still looking pretty 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 beautiful you know the environment this is my first time actually getting into the building and i'm impressed with the way the school is clean and the school is very 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 neat i'm really 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 impressed so we are trying to get over to where the part that has been covered so we can take a general view of the sitting arena the the special guest sitting arena just up the tunnel so and also look at the changing room and then we take it down to uh, the indoor sport hall and see what has been done there so this is the light like i said has been done as you can see this is the drainage system this part has not been covered uh, and the plan is for it to be covered you can see the covering system is still coming so it will be covered but that has been done to control water during rainy season so the sitting arena around here beautiful waiting for the seat to come let them just put the seat and we are good to go to play football on this pitch <laughs> so interesting so do let me get your thoughts in the comment section what do you think have you been here before have you come to just see the site of this project do let me know it's a massive one for the alumni i must say so let's get to the uh tunnel and uh, see what that area looks like around here so we'll also be giving you a view of what the back looks like in the mini stadium let me call it mini stadium so we'll be giving you the back view as well so you can see the pitch the sand has been properly mashed i believe they're just waiting for grass to come so they can commence work so this is the um where the changing room is yes for those who are playing football if you want to come and change so they have a room to your right a room to your left so i believe for home and away you know what i mean for those lovers of football so we are currently at the back side 
and just to mention we we had uh, we had we had opportunity to interview one of the uh to speak with not interview rather to speak with one of the alumni who is also in charge of monitoring the project who told us that the seating capacity is above four thousand for the stadium and the indoor sports hall is 700 to 1000 that the seating is 700 to 750 while the standing can take uh, an extra people where they intend to put some plastic chairs so that is the info we got there so we'll be getting in pretty soon this is uh the way to the indoor sport hall the indoor sport hall the seat has been done so when we enter now you see that all of the seating arrangement has been done just i i've already mentioned that the light on the in the main bowl of the stadium has also been fixed so lightning system i think generally lightning has been done so i think it's just this other feed and track things that they are set to do so they've opened the door for us now you can see the key by the door it's actually locked probably because of the equipment that, has, that are inside so this is the indoor sport hall uh blue seats it has been done so i believe they can even do some minor uh indoor sports around here already <laughs> so you can see that the basketball um this thing has been fixed there you can see the table tennis you can see the long tennis uh, as well has been brought in so just for proper arrangement that is left and um, in this um, um, indoor spot as well though those are some of the uh, toilet facilities already prepared down yeah so we also observe inside the indoor sport hall the lightning has also been done uh, just that session you are seeing now that the fan has been installed the other part the fan has not been installed so fans has been installed on this part you are currently seeing but the other side there is no fan so the light has been done and as you can see that is the speakers already installed across different corners yes this is one we just passed one again with the camera yeah there's another one so they have them like that across different corners in the hall so that also is ready i think the indoor sport is literally like ready to i would say 60 to 70 percent ready it's just for them to keep it cleaner and people can start uh, making use of um making use of it so that is it we're out of the indoor sport hall now these are the guys watering the flower like i said and watering the grass has been planted around here so there are grasses already around there because of the current amatan season so they are looking very 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 dried but generally impressive so kudos to the alumni of cic i i'm impressed with this project i know it has been on for quite some time yeah but i'm really impressed to see that this is what an alumni can give to a college and just like the the s students we met said that it will be open for public use where they will do they will be renting it out and also generate income for the school as well to also help maintain maintain the stadium and the indoor sport hall so beautiful idea so thank you very much guys if you have stayed with me and you are not yet a subscriber please do well to click the subscribe button help us get to 10,000. and if you are returning subscriber thank you do let us get your thoughts in the comments section bye